Vehicle fires are an integral part of fire department operations. According to the U.S. Fire Administration, they account for one-sixth of all fire responses annually. Considered by many firefighters to be a routine response, they account for approximately 400 civilian deaths annually, 1,700 civilian and 1,100 firefighter injuries, and $1.3 billion in property damage each year. Though there has been a downward trend in the number of vehicle fires over the past decade, the hazards associated with these incidents have actually increased as vehicles have become more technologically sophisticated. At many departments, Standard operating procedures call for a single engine response to vehicle fires. This response underestimates the potential hazards that vehicle fires pose, as well as the extensive resources needed to deal with these incidents properly. There are many ancillary tasks that must be completed, such as scene safety, traffic control, forcible entry, vehicle stabilization, overhaul, fire cause determination, hazard and spill control. For these reasons, it is important not to underestimate these incidents, both from a staffing and from a tactical standpoint. It is wise to send a second unit to provide additional water, support services, and to block traffic. Although vehicle fires remain an inherent part of firefighting duties, these incidents should be handled in a cautious, safe manner, commensurate with a size up and risk assessment. Incident commanders should bear in mind that if there's no life hazard inside the vehicle, the only life hazard present is our own personnel. Remember, there is no salvage value to burning automobiles. The nozzle on the end of the hose line is probably worth more than the burning vehicle, and actions to save it are foolhardy if they put the firefighters at risk. When sizing up a vehicle fire, begin by sizing up the scene. Make sure all traffic is stopped, there are no down wires, and any fuel spills are controlled. Moving traffic presents one of the primary injury hazards at these fire scenes. Many firefighters have been seriously injured and even killed when struck by an automobile passing the scene at high speed. This danger is increased at dusk, at nighttime, and during inclement weather conditions where visibility is impaired. To minimize this hazard, all members should wear full protective gear with reflective stripes and use caution before exiting the apparatus. Note that the NFPA regulations call for reflective vests for all personnel not wearing SCBA. To further minimize this hazard, the fire apparatus should be spotted so it creates a safe work zone that shields all members from oncoming traffic. When positioning the apparatus, it should be parked on a diagonal across the roadway with the pump panel facing the incident. This creates a traffic-free environment in which both the pump operator and the firefighters can work safely. Parking on a diagonal utilizes the full length of the vehicle as a shield. The rule of thumb concerning apparatus placement is that if the fire is on the same side of the street as the responding apparatus, stop before the fire and park the apparatus on a diagonal. If the fire is on the opposite side of the street, pass the fire, and when it is safe, park the apparatus on the far side to block traffic coming in the opposite direction. Whenever possible, place the apparatus uphill, upwind, and at least 100 feet away from the burning vehicle.